All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to Organic's latest video on his channel. He dropped this a couple hours ago. This will be my last vlog. This will be my last vlog. So here we go again with this clickbait. You know Organic. You and I both know Organic is not going to quit. No YouTube, no social media, none of that stuff. He is getting paid to do vlogs on YouTube. Now, why would he quit? He need to pay them bills. He need to pay that rented apartment, right? Because he can't own a property. So he has to keep on paying rent for his apartment, for the car. Um, now, he's been gone for like almost two weeks. I think he's got like some... He, he ran into a couple issues, I think, with YouTube. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit later. Like, I think it was like a couple days ago. I went to check out his channel and the entire video section was gone. Like, there was no videos under the video section. There was, like, still the shorts and the live streams, but the actual, like, video uploads, they're gone. So, you'll see what I mean in just, uh, in just a couple of minutes. Let's uh, actually jump into his video. Hey, my daughter. This is Mr. Organic. Uh, I met him at 43 Hoops. He was training my daughter, but he had this energy about him. Like, he's a superstar. Like, before... He's like super popular on YouTube and all those social media platforms now. But before that, you could tell like this guy. Yo, what in the goofy is this? This video starts off in like some kind of classroom. And you got this dude sucking up to Organic talking about he's a celebrity. Organic is a celebrity? Bro, they must have changed the definition to things. Sure. And like even yet, although he has what he has, he's going to be way bigger than you'd ever expect. Um, and I was at a place in life where I was doing well, but I didn't have that balance. So a lot of his principles allowed me to rethink and evaluate where I was at in my life and my career. And I'll have to get the next slide. On the road again. Man, what's up, people? Organic Nation, Gargo again, JDR Enterprise Understandaries, man. I've been on cruise control the last 12 days, man. Just been enjoying life. You know, appreciate you guys rock with me. I see all the messages. I'm here. You guys see me on Instagram. And make sure y'all add me on Snapchat, too. Links below in the description. Add me on that Snapchat, man. I'll be posting more on Snapchat. I'm um, taking that up. But, you know, y'all got my Instagram. Yep. The Snapchat is garbage. See me on there more. I've been doing more behind-the-scenes stuff. Really, really calling in on these podcasts. I got another big deal I'm working on that could be massive. And I mostly might just be focusing on that full-time. So... I ain't been vlogging as much, and like I said, I might be, you know, not even vlogging at all, really. Just strictly doing the podcast and being like the Black Joe Rogan, the Black Howard Stern, and uh, taking that to the next. Shit, I remember when he said the uh, Top of the Mook podcast was going to be like a billion dollar uh, podcast. He's going to get all kinds of special deals, like with Netflix and all that. And then as soon as Tall Guy left, that whole podcast fell apart. The whole channel fell apart. Like, if you guys haven't checked out Top of the Mook, it's like a complete... It's dead over there. Because I know that's my calling. People like when I have my my talks and give people my, my takes on things. So with that being said, um, I really do want to focus on that. But I still want to tap in with my people when I can. But it's really not my main focus right now. So make sure I have me on Snapchat and uh, Instagram so y'all get that and stream everything on all podcast uh, streaming sites so you get all that good information. But today I'm out and about. I ain't been out and about in a while. Like on the regular. Besides working out, things like that, I've been, you know, focusing on a lot of different things. Um, that's going to be very lucrative for me. I've been studying different entrepreneur things from like people building up their company, scaling it. Um, it's crazy. I've been thinking about starting my own uh, candy company. He's about, he, what? You're thinking about starting a candy company at like 45 now? You're like 45 years old and you're thinking about a, starting a candy company? I thought one of them ones was a billion dollar company. I, that's what he said, right? He said his merch company is a billion dollar company. That shit is like some cheap ass. It's like a bunch of blanks with that cheap ass logo and just idiots buying it. You know, I love candy. So I saw a girl did that, build their own candy company. It was crazy. So, and also um, a YouTuber did actually sour strips. It was dope. And that girl that got uh, sweet, smart sweets. She was 21 years old. Her company went up to, she got like 360 million for like 25% of her company. After four years, she was 21. She 25 and did that. You'll probably see the Whole Foods and everything. I said that to say this is that whatever you like, man. Yeah, because she's 21 and she probably got some seed investors or private equity or something. But nobody's going to invest in a clown like you that's on social media lying, taking advantage of people. Like, you got a history of taking advantage of people. That 21-year-old, she got no history of taking advantage of people. Um. So, yeah, this is what I mean. So, I captured this like a couple days ago. 
um so you can see it says like this channel has no video so i don't know what happened um i was actually gonna drop a video about it like a couple of days ago i was like yo that's kind of weird what happened to this man's channel like he must have taken all the videos down or must have like he probably pissed off youtube something like that um but the shorts you can see they're all pretty much here and the live stream the live stream is also on there so the only thing that kind of was taken down was all the videos now i don't know maybe he tried to do like a whole reset you know because he realized he ain't getting a whole lot of views or whatever so he was like let me uh let me take all my videos down all my main videos down and then hopefully the algorithm will reset itself so yeah the shorts the lives podcast playlist but yeah when you come back to videos this channel has no videos so i think there's got to be a reason why he was gone for like almost like two weeks it's pretty weird like normally people don't don't take a break for like two weeks or 13 days or whatever it's just really weird i think something must have went down um because you know he'd be saying some some wild stuff on videos um especially the shit he was talking about diddy and all that like he was they probably somebody was probably watching it sure you try to monetize it and really make something out of it so i love candy and i got a great idea so anybody out there knowing the candy companies or distributors or can facilitate making a, a candy i got a great idea that's going to be worth a hundred million dollars immediately like i got a super idea that i want to tap into um that's going to be monumental you know we already know one of the ones organic lifestyle i can scale that right now for 20 30 million right now for the um, impact i have with this brand already so i'm working on something with this also so it's like i just been doing that stuff behind the scenes i was i was watching something on a guy that made billions of dollars on cardboard from growing his own trees and all that it's crazy so i just been really looking at those so you're talking about all these millions and millions of dollars and scaling this company and scaling that company so why haven't you scaled up one of them ones? I mean, you've been on social media for like fucking 10 years now or whatever. And you still do the same thing with your merch. You got like all these little ass shops making that cheap ass merch. Overpriced garbage is what it really is. How come he's never really scaled up? If anything, it looks like he's scaled down. All right. He went broke. All right. So you're telling me you got all these great ass ideas, right? But somehow this man is renting an apartment. Like what? Things. So that's why I've been, you know, off the grid really. But you know, I tap in with my guys when I can. Shout out to my guy Stunner Reese right there in front of me. Got the Mozzie right there. Um, about to go see about this car dealership. Oh, now we know why. Now we know the purpose of the video. Stunner Reese told him, you know, because Stunner Reese, he does that shit window shopping, right? He's driving that little beat up. Mosberg, Maserati, piece of trash, piece of junk, or whatever it is. So, organic has to leech, right? He has to leech off somebody, man. I should have known, man. Um, we should have known that the video he comes and drops with like two weeks later is a video of him leeching on Stunner Reese because he can't leech off anybody else. So, it seems like more recently he's been leeching off Stunner Reese. Um, what happened to Fresh and Fit, man? It seems like it's been a while. It's been a while since they used to hang out, right? And the other dude that um, Organic drove his Maserati and his Rolls Royce, the dude that had the rental company. It's a cool car, so I can come tap it in with you guys. Give you all some good content when I can, you know. Um, I appreciate y'all. I want to be here without y'all, but it's just all about scaling, taking things to the next level, and that's what I've been on, you know what I mean? Just really, really paying attention to those type of situations. And, uh, but I'm still for you guys, you know, I'm still here for you. I just need you guys to ride with me. Make sure y'all doing what y'all got to do to be great also. Go to OrganicLifestyle.com, get some of that clothing, support the brand. That's very, very essential to what I do. And, and, and also, to be real with you guys, the last few years, you know, been uh, been awesome, right? I came from nothing, basement all the way to Malibu, everything I ever dreamt of. Then, you know, scaled the business by, you know, investing heavily into the cars, into the brand. Then monumental for me also, you know, take some wins, you take some losses with those things. It's all new, you know, just coming from nothing, from 30-something years old to become a millionaire in a couple years. There's a lot of things you got to learn that... I love how he says he invested in cars and now he's saying, you know, you win some, you lose some. Because 
Every time he got rid of a car, he said he made so much money. He said every time he got rid of a car, he made more money than when he got the car. And then now we've come to find out that every car that he's gotten on his channel, he's practically lost money on. If not, it got repossessed. All right. The Rolls Royce has a story behind it. The Urus has a story behind it. The G-Wagon has a story behind it. The Ferrari has a story behind it. The McLaren has a story behind it. This man lies nonstop, man. Nonstop. And if he's so connected, right? This is what I don't fucking understand, man. If this guy claims he's made millions and millions of dollars and drove Rolls Royces, right? This is the Rolls Royce he had in the past, right? And he got it for like 300000 Now it's like for sale for like 200000 So what is this man talking about? But anyway, he gets on here and he's like... Guys, if you know any candy company, link it up with me. But I thought you were the guy behind the master class, behind the academy. You're the one supposed to connect us, the peasants, the peons, the roaches with people that are high up there, right? Isn't that the whole purpose of you paying someone like him that's going to motivate you and coach you and mentor you through his academy? Isn't that part of that membership fee? So now he... He really is not well connected. If he has to get on here and say, uh, find me a transport company. Find me a, a wrap company for my car. Find me a candy uh, manufacturer. It's like, dude, then what are you exactly? Because we thought you are the guy. You are Mr. Multimillionaire. So it's, it's so deceiving. Oh, that you, you thought you knew, but you didn't know. And I, and I learned on the fly that's a beautiful thing. It's a blessing to do that. So... Then having all my money in crypto being stuck for two years down 60 percent then get you know a, a nice amount of it back and realize like oh uh, please stop talking about crypto you stole all those screenshots those were not even like your actual accounts this man literally stole screenshots from other people's accounts posted it as his own all right we dropped the video on it so did the uh black development network so if you guys you know feel some kind of bias towards my videos Go check out the Black Development Network. Another black man talking about organic. He actually traced the pictures and found the Twitter account that organic stole. So this dude is like, dude, why are you like doing all this extra goofy shit? Stealing images, trying to make it seem like you're back on uh, like your money's back up. It's like if you if you really had your money back up from crypto, why didn't you just show us your actual wallet? Why would you steal pictures? It doesn't make sense. Man, it's good to have your money work where you can um, use it wisely, not not um, having it stuck, not having it pushed in different things that don't bring you money back, or you know, <laughs> doing things that's not for you. You know, um, so I realized that a long time ago. So now to be back in a position where I got you know a nice chunk again, just realizing, man, I like that. I don't gotta you know spend it and show it no more. Or like I said, it was it was trophies and felt good, but at the same time, it was part of the business, part of the brand. So now that I, I've done that, I realize I can just sit down and just coast and be crispy, cool. I got to go over crazy. I still like certain things, and I will get certain things, but it's going to be in a different manner. So just ride with me, guys. And, and as I grow, you grow. I give you the information I know. You know, um, I'm not perfect. Never said I could. I am. I am the one and only. I am. This video sounds like a whole bunch of baloney bullshit. He just... You know, Stunner Reese probably called him up and said, hey, you know, you want to drop, uh, I'm going to go to this dealer, look at some cars. Uh, you want to come with me? And then Organic said, yeah, why not? Let me uh, get on video while I'm driving, you know, following Stunner Reese and make this stupid video that, and try to appear like I'm so motivational. Like, basically what he's saying is the car investment is not worth it. So what you're saying is that CJ on 32's car content is useless? Because that's what you're basically saying. Like, it's an upward, it's a downward investment. There's no return on it. This is why you don't do what you did in the past with the car content. So you're basically saying C. John 32's car content is a is a loss. And he has to uh, leverage it with the raffles. I don't God, don't ever get a message screwed. I hate to not get that to you. I'm not telling you, man. But for real, though, like, let's grow. And that's what it's all about, growth, you know? So we right now, right now, got stunned in the front, man. Make sure you go to his um to his page and uh, get into his uh his raffle, raffle, whatever you want to call it. Thanks about the end soon, but that Monty tough. And uh, the account below, y'all still want me to wrap the card. Uh, slingshot, I'm about to get it out here soon. So that's gonna be cool. Just to have it around, coast around, and do some other things with that. 
So, yeah, it's right with you guys. I'm on the way to this dinner ship, check out some cool stuff. But, yeah, let's give y'all the update about, like, you know what I mean? I probably don't be vlogging as much. I'll be one of my last vlogs, who knows? But just, just ride with you guys. It's going to be a monumental year. We're about almost six months in. Being in Miami, I know time flies. Time flies. But, it, but it's been the best decision for me to be out here. I love Switzerland. I had a great time in LA initially. But this Miami overall is like a blend of both, to tell you the truth. I don't know why it is. From the nature to the, the network and the peace I have. I'm loving Miami, and, I, and it ain't about the nightlife or none of that, because I'm not into that. I'm single. I'm like not single no more. I'm a married man, so it's like... He's a married man, man. Stop it, man. Stop all that goofy jokes, man. He ma that, that woman he married looks hideous, man. That girl looks hideous. Um, this man had a trade in his brother's super stock Hellcat to get that Aston Martin. And I love when he gets on video and appears like he's so motivational, inspirational. It's like, I don't know, man. Like, what exactly do people like? What are you guys exactly learning? You know, we had these other two guys that have YouTube channels that signed up for Organics Academy. It's been like several months, and we don't see any real progression on their sites. I don't get it. Like, you know, those two guys, right? You know what I'm talking about. Cookies, uh, cookies and cream, right? The Oreo couple. Like, they signed up for Organics Academy. They did several videos, and then they kind of stopped. They kind of fell off. So it's like everybody that I told you signs up for these academies, these master classes in the past, the mentorship program. Like there's no where where did that what happens? Like there's no update. I'm chilling. I just enjoy the energy that it brings to me. I'm very happy to be here. I love my building. I love the cold pun sound still doing all that, but yeah guys, it's about monumental growth. So yeah, I turn it this camera back on, I turn it back on, but hey, tap it in. Y'all, you got to be careful with this cold plunge stuff. Uh, see, organic just talks out of his ass. But if you got like a heart condition, you I don't think you got I don't think you uh, could do these uh, cold plunges. So you got to be careful listening to somebody like organic. I know he talks out of his ass most of the time. And it, it might, what might work for him might not necessarily work for everybody else. So I actually just heard about this because. Uh, I was talking to a group of friends and I mentioned that whole cold plunge thing, seeing if they actually think it's a good idea. And some of them said that if you actually have a heart issue, then you cannot do that. So that's something like, like I said, I didn't know I'm passing along to you guys because there's a lot of there's thousands of people following organic. And, you know, one of them is going to be stupid enough to do something and they probably are not in the best health and it'll be the worst outcome. Guys, I'm out there. You know, I have no fear, I have no fear, Mr. Organic is here. You see what's going on, all these people at this day. Why did I go this way? Uh, POV3 in the building, man. This is the Ultra Festival. Humans everywhere. She's staring bug eyed. Look at him. I'm going to get you on camera, baby. Yeah, he got that. Okay, he got that challenge to join the vintage one type. He's still riding. You know what I'm saying? But listen up. It's your boy, Mr. Organic. I'm on the way to the gym looking like it. Look at him. Still. Am I still stealing? Am I still on the stealing under the Yeah. I got those. Come on, I got the geeks out. No, that now the geeks are out now. Yo, who is paying $300 for this, man? Come on now, man. Come on, guys. Who is paying $300? Well, it used to be $400 for a hoodie and some shorts. And these are blanks. All right. So, you know what? I, I don't know if you guys know what blanks is. You can try to Google it. But it's basically a blank hoodie, a blank T-shirt, blank shorts, blank sweatpants. And then they just put on all that extra graphic shit. So all that stuff you see on the shirt, that's just like pressed or printed graphics. It's not even engraved. It's not embroiled. This is printed or pressed. It's the cheapest form of merch. And people are paying three, $400 for this shit. Now, I get it. Like, if you're wearing something that's like Balenciaga or Prada, Dior, Louis Vuitton, you know, shit like that, that actually has a secondary market. And I always have to explain this again and again because people be like, oh, well, you guys spend this much money on Louis Vuitton or on Burberry. Yeah, but let's say let's say you buy let's say you buy a shirt from uh, from Louis Vuitton for like five hundred dollars and then you wear it, you enjoy it a couple months later. Obviously, they have the new style out. You can actually sell the one that you have on eBay or on Etsy, or on any market, secondary market, and you're going to get money for it. You can't do that with Organics brand. 
Nobody knows who the fuck Organic Lifestyle is unless you're following him on social media. Okay, they're not what he is. Look at these. Look at all these crazy eakers, man. These people's crazy. Look at them. All down the street, there's so many of them. It was a thunderstorm last night, so they came in on They had to close it down on them. It was crazy. So today is the second day of it, and these people are everywhere down the street. Look at this dude staring and all that. Onion head on. Like you never seen these half naked weirdos. Look at them. They just loose with it. What is this? Look at these dudes, man. These people crazy. Like, what is going on here? What is this, man? People just walking down the street like this, being caught feds, man. What happened to Mr. Peace and positivity and all that prosperity? Look at him. The, he, the people, he doesn't even know these fucking people that are walking on the sidewalk, right? These are people not even bothering him. See, this is what I'm telling you because, you know, when I dropped the reaction videos on Organic on Live, people are like, oh, well, he gets trolled, you know? He has all these trolls. He has all these people talking shit about him. So, of course, he, he's triggered. Of course, he's going to lash out. Yeah, okay, so what is the excuse now? Talking shit, talking about people, the way they dress, looking at... Oh, look at this dude looking all fucked up. Uh, Look at his buck guy. Okay, those dudes, like, they ain't bothering you. They're walking on the fucking sidewalk. But see, where's all that peace, positivity, and prosperity, and all that goofy shit? This is wild. So that's what's going on out here, man. You got all the geekers out here just walking down the street. You know what I'm saying? Being extracurricular. You know, blessing all some understanding, but... I'm on the way to the gym. I ain't got time to play. You know what I'm saying? I'm sliding through him with Aston. Look at Chris for that stair, brother. Number the Aston, wait till I put that rap on it, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy right now. You know, um, hold on, man. Let me fix this thing. It's a little foggy. It might be a mistake that I'm going this way, but I'm going anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's packed because it's over there on the bay side. Bay shore. So it's people all over there. It's crazy. Last night was canceled. They back at it again. And it's just different. I don't know about which is this stuff, but I never really heard of it. I know I ain't going to. I'm, I might pop over there. I might throw a little bead on my neck, throw some glitter on my eye right here on this eye like this, like rainbow war paint, and then go out there, go like this here, and they blend in with them. Do this here, do this here, do this here, do this here, blend in type of, you know what I'm saying? But they got all the eekers out here, man. The geekers and eekers are out, man. They everywhere, brother. You know what I'm saying? He's, that Aston got a different rumble to it. Let me out hit that super. Let me hit that sport on. Oh, no. Let me hit that sport. There you go. Get that shirt. Oh, you want that track? Hold on. Let's hit the track. Let me hit the track. If you've been. There we go. It's regular. Sport. Right. Hear the difference? I like sport dog. I don't hear no difference at all. Like, have you guys actually heard a difference? There's no difference from regular sport or track. That thing is quiet as a mouse. The track be a little too wiry, especially when it's rain on the ground. You're, you're a little tight spin out in this, this meme machine. But yeah, man, on the way to the gym, look at him. Look at him. 4 2. 4 2. These dudes got a cheat tape, testosterone, and all that, peptides, and all that cheating. And, and, and all the rest of the Koreans, I don't know all that crap. I wake up and do me, man. Damn, so are you throwing uh, shade on Big Boy and Cali Muscle, your old boys, the ones that you used to hang out with? Because ain't they on supplements and probably steroids? I think Cali Muscle was definitely on some steroids early on. But now he's he's on supplements and all kinds of crazy shit. So Organic is throwing a lot of shade on people. Earlier, he was saying, like, getting cars was like the worst investment for his channel right so in a way you're kind of throwing shit throwing shots at cj on 32s because that's all cj does is buy cars but like we've been saying cj is only afloat because of the raffle money and now he's throwing shots at people he said, if you ain't buff like me and all natural then you got all these hormones and stuff like that so damn I just wake up, you know what I'm saying? Eat me some boiled eggs and go to the gym. Eat once a day still. You know what I mean? Look at the skin. Look at the skin in the mouth. Look at the skin weight. You know what I'm got big, pure skin. Three of them do because he's the god. But yeah, when I get around this corner, I'm going to see what else over there. And I'll turn it back on for you guys. That's that right there. Boop. Big truck move. The auto toy store. I think I talked to these guys at SEMA before, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not mistaken. I could be, but I don't think I am. Um, so we're gonna see. But I remember something about these guys, if I'm not mistaken, that um I remember like yeah, we in Florida. If y'all go back to my SEMA video, I think I recall these guys, so we're gonna see. Hop out, man. I'm gonna try to keep it rolling as much as I can, just non-stop like a like a stream type. Let me see how long I can do it. Rock with the people. Got that yellow Bentley right there, got that red Rolls Royce back there. You know what I'm saying? The toy store. Let's see what's going on in this piece, man. It's the organic man himself. We out here in Fort Lauderdale. Ain't too far from Cario either. What's going on, champion? That was a ride now. We had a little 
Road trip. Yeah. Man, how you doing, sir? Well, brother. Man. Good to see you. Good to see you. What is up with Stunner Reese wearing these like tight ass jeans and tight ass uh, shirts? Like he'd be following in CJ's footsteps. Like I don't know what that style is. That shit is weird, man. How do they how do they run in them little um, tight ass uh, jeans and tight ass shirts? Like that shit looks weird as hell. Um, so these are comments, organic, attacking people in the comment section. Always, my dog. We out here, man. The toy store. Damn, he said, "Eat my ass and enjoy." My guy just talking in circles at the end of these vlogs. He said, "Eat my ass and enjoy." Wow, Mr. Peace, positivity. My subscribers told me to come out here and check this place out. They okay. Yeah, I think I met these some guys from here when I was oh. at Seaman when I got my 720. Oh, for real? And I remember there was a, like, yo, we got a place in um Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you ever want a car, blah, 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 you know what I mean? Okay. And they, they'd be cool. I think they said, like, 20% down, whatever the car is, they get the, they're done. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. They want one of those, yeah. They're going to work with you. Yeah, they're going to work with you. Like, they, they, like, like niggas need some times. Oh, Gallardo, when these came out, boy, there was something, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That was the first one. Like, ooh, I can type, get me a Lambo now, Gallardo, ain't too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you still get one of these? Nah, I'm cool. Nah, you cool, yeah. Be inside, too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, me either, champ. Can't do that one. Yeah. Know what I mean? Can't do it. Yeah, you still Lambo? I mean, this one right here look tight, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a hard sell. But when they came out, though, that Gallardo. Boy, we got one boy in the hood. Yeah, it was sliding. It was crazy. Yeah, it was different. It was different. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, so, come right here, and we're going to see what we see. Let's go, champ. You know I'm, I'm with it. I'm going to see you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, make sure they coordinate it. Yeah, I ain't never, you know what I'm Yeah, we're going to see on the coordination on yeah. the first hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you a lot of fuel. Oh, the art crazy, too. I ain't playing with the art, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Top level. Um, but upstairs a lot more stuff, because this is, we have to move around a lot. Yeah. Yeah. This is a different type of stuff, now. Oh, yeah, you got to. Oh, you got the upstairs, too? Yeah, it's, it's the new, it's the new wave, man. Why is organic turning into a vlogger like Stunner Reese? Because this is like typically what Stunner Reese does, right? He just goes into these dealerships and just records knowing damn well he's not buying anything. Because Stunner Reese has been buying a whole bunch of junk, all right? Like, he really needs to step up his game. Like, you can't convince us that you got rid of that Corvette C8 that you owned that's like a, over a hundred thousand dollars. You raffle that damn thing off, and then you go back to raffling off a whole bunch of junk and trash. Like that shit don't add up, man. How's that shit add up? How, how do you raffle off a car and claim somebody won a car that's worth over a hundred thousand, and then the very next car is like some garbage, and all the recent cars are all garbage. Like this Mossberg, this shit is like garbage. It's like twenty thousand dollars, if that. It's probably less than that because it's probably got high miles and it's been modified. So, you're going to have a world of problems getting this Maserati next. It's a new camera. All right. A little workout, man. You got to to breathe and work out these stairs. Okay, yeah. A little more footfall up here. Oh, no, it's legendary. Which camera are you guys? I'm Mr. Organic. Yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah, no, I recognize you. Yeah. I recognize you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, yeah, nice to meet you, man. It's different when you see people on the screen than when you see nah, it's people different. looks completely different. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. never thought you were this tall. Oh, yeah, I'm a real superhero, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's me, Mr. Organic, man. Oh, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Please go ahead. Just, yeah. Right, they got you know, some cool cars. You actually have really cool stuff like this. You see this back here? I, I don't know how many anybody's Oh, the McLaren F1? This? That guy don't know who Mr. Organic is. He said, what's your name? If you if you follow Mr. Organic and you see Mr. Organic in person, you should know who Mr. Organic is. If you have to see him in person, be like, oh, what, what, what's your name again? And he says, Mr. Organic, oh, well, yeah, you just on camera. That's like, that's the, that's the same excuse everybody says. Oh, you look different than what you do on vlogs or in your videos or whatever. If If he knew Organic on video, he would easily know Organic in person. This is actually, uh, it's, an, it's an SSC, it's a hand-built thing. Oh, this is different, different. Yeah, they only made 24 of them, and this is the number one car. Oh, this is the fastest is car, production car, until Bugatti. Really? Yeah, in 2009. This is the 260, 256, Bugatti got to 257, yeah. and this got to 266, and Bugatti got to 269, that was it. Mm. 
This is the SSC is the company. Okay. And uh, but uh, it's uh, an ultimate um, Twitch server. Okay. No, so, yeah, it's hand built, but it is uh, it is it is production. factory hand built. Okay, so it is a production. Okay, okay gotcha. Um, that car is like it's kind of like a um it's like a kit car that's what it's kind of like it's kind of like a kit car um it's got like um like it's got different parts coming from different other manufacturers like it's probably got like porsche and mercedes benz and and uh gm so it's like it's a combination like typically those brands like I I would steer away from them unless you want something more exclusive cuz obviously not everybody's going to be driving this thing around so it's going to look semi different but just know it's got like it's like an open buffet of parts it's a Porsche 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 gearbox rear trans and engine is a is a I think a 6 so it's got a porsche gearbox but it sounds like he said 6.2 so it's probably got like a ls2 i think it's a ls2 because ls1 was like a 6.0 um ls2 must have been 6.2 so it's got like basically a corvette like the um I think it might have been like the C6. It's probably got like a C6, um, C6 or C5 engine. Yeah, so let's put it this way: if it breaks, um, anybody can fix it. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a big American-made motor. Oh, okay, that's different. Yeah, but it's, the thing is, it's, it's fast. No, that joint look crazy in the back too. Yeah. You got three to drive right there. There's one, only one available right now. Then this one, there's one and two. We have this one priced, I think, at three ninety-nine. There's one other one that just came up for sale in Dubai. He's asking eight hundred ninety. Oh, that's a big difference. Yeah. I better come get this man. This is number. This is number this one is car. One of Come on out from the scene. They have the number fourteen car. This is and the one in Dubai. Yeah. This one they did the press with, and yes, it's pretty. Wheels on this. Yeah, it's damn different. It's, it's, oh, Shanti moves. So why is this car cheaper by four hundred thousand? That don't make sense. Like I hate when people say stuff like this. They'd be like, "Oh, there's one in Dubai for like eight hundred thousand. Well, Dubai might have tariffs and taxes. I don't even think they do have taxes. I mean taxes. But um, another thing they didn't really mention is how many miles. Like this car could be four hundred thousand for that reason because it has a lot of miles. Um, but yeah, it's just. It's like this dude is just like talking too much. He looked like he did a line or two before he started talking to them. I guarantee brands, and I, I watch a lot of cars. I watch a lot of these. I don't even watch TV anymore. Just straight YouTube, yeah. And I haven't seen anybody do anything with this unless I actually press the name of the car right. into YouTube, mm -hmm. and then this one comes up. And the same one comes this up. This one comes up, yeah. Wow. Oh, it's rare. See, it's got this the gold wing yeah. style doors. And yeah, all the doors go up? Like yeah. A lot of people think oh, it's, it's, on very top, similar, yeah. Yeah. it's very similar to the, it's comes this way. Okay. Oh, like it's Pagani type. The same right. Same lean? The same lean and oh, the yeah. Jaguars. Yeah. Oh, that old Jaguar is crazy. i never seen one. you seen in person? No. Yeah, that long one? Yeah. Those super rare. Yeah. It's super nice. One for the... If you have a 700 Jaguars, all oh, that old Jaguar is crazy. I never seen one. You seen in person? No. Yeah, that long one. Yeah. Those super rare. Yeah. It's super One for the Jada Kids video. Some people think oh. that. So he's talking about the XJ two uh, XJ two uh, two two zero, the two twenty, the XJ two twenty. It's like a nineties uh, supercar. Um, that was I think that's probably the only one from Jaguar's side. And then obviously you guys know the. Um, the MC one, like the Maserati, the Maserati supercar. That's probably the only one that I actually like from uh, from Maserati. But all the Maserati, the new Maseratis are all garbage. This, and Back in the day. You see the lights are different. Oh, I guess it's similar now. Now you said that Jaguar. I'm thinking of that. Yeah. Yeah. The Jaguar. I forgot what it's, it's again. It's like a bunch of letters. Yeah. X K. -C. Yeah. X yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Those are crazy. I've never seen one in person though. This is different. Close it like this. This is actually a Corvette. Yeah, that one's called the XJ220. That's the one he's talking about. Um, and then the one I was talking about is the MC12. It's not a Ferrari, but it's a really... They make a lot of these replicas. Right, with the Ferrari wheels. This is a, this is a good one. 
And it's a Corvette. This is a this is a really good one. Like if you put the real thing next to you, you can't tell them apart. And I'm good at telling them apart. Right. Tell them apart. Mm. Remember we was just talking about when we was at cars and cars. Yeah, them conversions. Yeah, you I saw somebody doing with like an old 550, made it to a Maybach. Yeah. Put yeah. that joint, put all this stuff in there. Yeah. Couldn't tell no difference. Right, right. An old one, the thing though. thing is with the Maybach, if you get close enough to it, there's a couple of inches here. Yeah, that you can catch, yeah. But this, this is like, I mean, and, and it's and to boot, it's most of it. But it's, it is a Corvette. It's That's Corvette. different. It's got power and it's got a lot of fun stuff in it. So it's not, it's not going to fall apart to drive down the road. They don't want to do that. This, I mean... For those who know, they know. That's yeah. one of those ones. <laughs> Especially with that shit, little duck bill in the back. Yep. I mean, look, okay, granted, there's a lot of years between them, but this is a 1976. That's wild. And that's a 2019. Right. right. Now, you can tell there's no mis- even in 40 years difference, there's no mistaking that it's the same car. It's the same components. Yeah, yeah there's no... So I'm curious, like, what is Organic and, uh, and Stunner Reese doing there? Like, they're not clearly going to buy cars. They're not buying cars because a lot of these cars are used cars or they're collector cars. Uh, most of them seem to be collector cars, so they're they're expensive, right? They're completely out of organic and Stunnerese's budget. Stunnerese is looking for a budget car that he can fix up for content to get rid of for the raffle, right? So obviously none of these cars are going to be raffle cars. Organic is too broke. Um... He's not gonna get a. He's not getting another car anytime soon. So what is he doing? Like wasting these people's time, wasting an hour when these people could be actually working with other more serious customers. Like what are they doing? You know how big that is now. There's no mistaking that it's. And I mean, there's. I mean, I get goosebumps on price too. They go up in value. Yeah. Yeah. Old value, like a. Yeah. This, the old Porsche brand. Yeah. My family's in Porsche, but we do rest all, we only do Porsche up north. Yeah. We do uh, all restorations. Mm. And this is, and this, believe it or not, this car, this is 100,000 miles. And look at it. Like this one, this is what, 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 what a friend of the dealer that left it here for some reason. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's still, yeah. it you would think that it would disappear next to it, but it doesn't. No, it stands out. Jerry Seinfeld, he just collects all Porsches. He's got like the, yeah. the whole hanger full of just Porsches. Yeah, you know. Yeah, different little it's different. It's hard. They're, just, they're, they're nuts. We got that banana nut bread interior in this one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is, this, it's funny, I'm surprised. This is in Sydney for a while. I'm surprised. We get so many calls on this corner. Yeah. And I, people go nuts over it. I think it's probably one of the most beautiful companies I've seen. Yeah, that interior is different, but, especially the wood. Yeah, the wood is different. And the steering yeah. wheel. Yeah. The wood, yeah, that's the same. Yeah, I think this sales guy is capping like crazy. Like, he, they're talking about this uh, Bentley uh, GTC um, Spider. Now, if you guys know about Bentleys, the same way you know about Maseratis and Aston Martin, like those are the three car makers that typically lose the most amount of money. Um, starting off with Maserati, then Bentley, then um, no, actually, I would say Maserati, then Aston Martin, especially the Vantage, like the one that Organic got, that thing loses like practically half of its value. And then the Bentleys also lose a lot of their value. So these Bentleys... You could pick up a Continental GT, even a GTC or a Flying Spur for less than $50,000, all right? That's like the amount you guys would spend on an entry-level or mid-level BMW, Mercedes, or even like a, a Chevy or a GMC with the same amount of money. You can get you an older, probably like a a, a model or two older and honestly, right now, you can't really tell the difference because the, the Bentleys kind of all look the same. Aston Martin kind of looks the same. Most of them look the same. But again, it's a Bentley. It's an Aston Martin for a small budget, right? It's going to be a couple years old, just like Organics. Organics is like 80000 And before you know it, Organics car, I give it another year, maybe two years, um, as soon as they like come up with an, a new one with a facelift or some minor modifications or upgrades, Organic's car is going to be in the forty dollars to $50,000 range. Just I'm, I'm telling you guys, like in another year or two, his car is going to be affordable. So so you can get a brand new Honda for like forty and fifty. dollars um, So with that same amount of money budget-wise, you can get you a used Aston Martin or Bentley. Now, Maserati, like the one that Stunneries is driving, you can get that thing all day long for like 20, 25. And I don't even think a lot of people even pay attention to Maseratis anymore. Like that thing looks like just like a regular car. This is why he had to paint it yellow 
because he knew his fan base is too vulnerable. The yellow color sticks out. That's the best way to uh, fool you guys. But that thing looks this is like a regular, like a BMW. It's almost like a BMW. Yeah, it's that wood. Pink knuckle. <laughs> yeah. It almost looks like a, you know how they do the coffee and they put the like. The yeah, the toffee. Yeah, the toffee. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that um, toffee move. Yeah. yeah it's Frappuccino pretty, and dinner. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Their they do that. Yeah, that's some real deal wood. Yeah, you know they do that all by hand. Yeah, they got their own trees. Like Bentley and Rolls Royce take their wood and leather very serious. Got their own cows. So that's what you're paying for. That's good though. They're supposed to come up with a new Bentley, I think they said too. They're gonna change it again. I did see the draw for it. Yeah, you can clearly tell these two idiots are crazy. Like the sales guy is like on something. And organic is he don't know about his cars because they definitely did upgrade this 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 Bentley style. This one is at least two trims, two uh two styles older. All right, now they got the newest one has a it's like a completely different design. Complete. I actually like the new style of Bentley that they re and it has it's already been out for like a few years now. So the one that organic is looking at, I think that one is from like 2012 to like 2018 or like 2017 something like that 20 could it might be actually yeah 2012 to about 2017 i think in 2018 bentley changed um redesigned the whole uh the the gt the gtc and i think the flying spur i don't think they call it a flying spur anymore they might have something else for it i don't know but they, they've been making several changes. So organic and this sales guy, they're like full of cap. Yeah. Was it electric or something too? It seems. Sniper. In the pictures, they did away with these lights. Yeah. That's going to be crazy. Because these are. That's a signature. It's a, it's a Those eyes place. and that grill. That's it. Bentley period. Yeah. Now it's like it's. There's a light. I don't know that they're releasing the car yet. Right. I, I read that that was the one that they made last year. With, is the one that's in production now? The 2020, yeah. 23? Is yeah. It's it supposed to be the last one. If they don't, if they do keep making it, it will be the a new one. Oh, so it'd be like how they did the Spectre with the race. They yeah. killed it, but they made a new one. Yeah. But it's still the same, you they know, chassis. Be and everything. Releasing a new one of how you doing? No, we're good. Thank you. But, um, yeah, it, but they might not be releasing it. Yeah. They said they're not sure yet. But yeah. it's, it's real. The shape is... Pretty much, but the lights are they look like they look a little too much like the Rolls Royce. Mm, like yeah, like the new ones, right? The line. The Bentley, like, is, yeah, it's, Bentley needs those. Yeah, it's supposed to look like that. Yeah, Bentley supposed to look like a Bentley. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's already Rolls Royce. Right? Come on now. That's and then so you can't go with that Rolls. Something that that's that's right there. It's got thirty thousand miles on it. That's eighty nine grand. And you're in the Rolls. An eighty nine thousand dollar Ferrari that you could use to go to hard top drop top. Yep. And then women. $89,000, that's crazy. That's a lot for that Bentley uh, GTC. Like, this dude, he, he probably knows Organic's followers are stupid enough. They would probably come there and buy it. $90,000 for this two-year model old trim Bentley. That's crazy. That thing easily goes for, like, $70,000. And, like, right around that $70,000 mark. 70 dollars 75 76 77 but no damn 90,000? Come on now. Oh no, you're going to be in a roar. They're going to still pull them down for you? Yeah, it's so bizarre. Uh, if you look at this, I mean, it was. They're really going to still get right for you. Better than a roar. They don't know no better. Yeah, Only some do now, but um, stay away from them, the ones that know them. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that's what they want to do. You pull out that horse on them. If you got it. Oh, please don't, don't, don't. Let's not talk about the California. The Ferrari California, that's a girly car. That thing is like quiet as a mouse. That is that I think they he, he he's like really talking about these affordable cars. Like this California is definitely cheap. It's like definitely under a hundred thousand dollars, but it's not a Ferrari anybody should start off with, especially if you're a guy. If you're a guy, do not get the California. Definitely don't recommend it at all. That is something you can get your girl, your wife, or something like that. But for you for the big boss, the player, do not drive. I better not catch you guys driving no damn California Ferrari. That's like the cheap-ass, low-entry, budget-friendly Ferrari. That thing sounds super basic. Yeah, it's a Ferrari, but it's just not 
it's not something you should um like I would say start off if you want to start off with a Ferrari start off maybe with like a 458 or a 488 those are probably better cars but not the not the California you might know me I mean you come back I got a pony there's no mistaking yeah yeah, it's no mistake. The back got the four pipes. Hard top, drop top. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Like, what are we talking about? You in the game. I don't know how this this one stayed this long. And I learned something interesting just a couple weeks ago. I had a client come in for that. I yeah. said, what about this one? He's like, no, no, no. I can't drive that. I'm like, why? Yeah, because I ain't going to lie. You do see a lot of women in them now. So that, that's, that's what it is. So. That's fine. But I didn't realize he went one step ahead. He goes, well, this car. You see exactly. This is what I've been telling you guys all along, right? I said, anybody that drives a California, this is not the car you drive as a man. This is a girly car. All right, nine out of 10 times, you're going to see women driving the Ferrari California. If you see a guy driving it, and I've seen a few, that's when you can tell, like, his broke ass couldn't afford any of the other Ferraris, so he started off with this girly one. So you got to know your cars. Like, certain cars are like that, like the California. Um, there's also another one that, uh, there's another Ferrari. It's kind of like a hatchback. That one is like one you got to also avoid. I mean, he's got four seats, but um, it, it, even the four seats are not comfortable. The the back row is very uncomfortable. So if you really want to be boss, boss man in a Ferrari, you got to get you an F8. Um, but if you can't get the F8, you can get the predecessors, which is our, the 488s, the, um, the 458. So I would go in that lineup. Was specifically made... And he wasn't lying. Yeah. It's like the Ferrari came out with this car. For women. They didn't release it like that, but their thought was oh, mostly guys drive Ferrari. So they wanted to make something that was more driver friendly. Yes. So it's the automatic, the engine is in the front. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's one of the most Yeah, you still can get over it. You know what I'm saying? You still get in the game with it. Well, we have a lot of our, some of our guys that are like, our guys that like come in and like just. I should, they won't, they won't, they won't drive, I'm like, come on, yeah, seriously? Yeah, yeah, because and at the same time, too, it's almost like, it's almost like this, people called on to it, so what happens is, for a while, you can still be in that, you, nobody really knew that it was a lower grade Ferrari, but now, people called on, like, oh, you're in California, you're in the, the bottom, yeah. are you in the middle, they've been making a but they nothing, they bums, yeah, I think be yeah. something better than my bottom, like, I bet like, they don't, they're, they're losers, yeah. but, you know, and they're like, organic, that's you, though, all right, organic is in the equivalent of this California, but an Aston Martin, like, Organic is even talking shit about himself. This is what I've been saying. Like, the, the Vantage, most of the people that drive the Vantage are women, all right? Because it's like an entry level. It's not like, it's not the super fast one. It's not, it's, it doesn't have the most horsepower. It's a little cute looking, you know, sports car. So, I'm surprised Organic is trying to like, he, he, he trying to talk like he knows about the Ferraris, right? Which, like I said, most people know the California is not a car you start off with if you're a gentleman. Um, it's definitely one that you got to steer away from. And if that's all you can afford, I wouldn't get it. All right, it's, it's just you're gonna look like a clown. Same thing with Aston Martin. You don't want to start off with a Vantage. You get you need to get like a a bigger get the um, DBS or the DB12. All right, if you want to get like an Aston Martin, get the DBS. I would stay with the DBS. I had a DBS. It's definitely, um, and they go up in value. They kind of fluctuates. You got to know where, when to get out from the DBS because if you stay with the DBS too long, it's going to drop in value. The DB12, when it comes out, it's a nice car, but it's the same problem, like I said, with with uh, Bentley and Maserati. They lose money like crazy. Like now they got the... Um, I forget what they call it, like the Aston Martin SUV, that thing's going to lose. Half. If you buy that damn thing new, you're going to lose half of it probably in another like two years. That thing's going to lose a lot of money. The SUVs lose a lot of money. Bentley, they was like since 2004 with that model, with that body. So it's like people got over for like 20 years with that, you know what I'm saying? So now people catching on. But people are bums that can't get anyway. They always make all these assumptions, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's hard to be, a lot of people do. I want to say, oh, these are, they're, they're a piece of junk, they're this. Well, you know what? I could, I could say with 100% with accuracy that we have no fewer than six of these yeah. that are the first few models, like 2004, 5, 6. Yeah. In order for us to have them to be sellable, that tells me that they were made to last. Are they still here? Yeah. So they have little works. I mean, I have a, I have an SL, an right. AMG. My car's almost 14 years old. Yeah. All right. And 
they're everywhere. And I could just pounce on that part that doesn't want to go anywhere. These are the same. Yeah. You just have to upkeep them. Yeah, you got to do the upkeep. You know, but that's why there's a lot of them on the road. And you could get into one of these. We have one, I think, for thirty, thirty-eight thousand dollars for a coupe. Crazy. And it's and it's not that it's, it's a bad car. Yeah. It's just there's there are a lot of they got a DBS at the front. It's an old, uh, it's an old body style DBS. But that thing, that's the car that Organic should have started with. That white DBS, not the, not the goofy one he's got now. There's a lot of them now. Yeah, and the prices are down now. So take a. What is brake squad? Gallardo. This is this one's interesting. All right, break it down for me, better. Because the color. Yeah, that red. This is Andromeda red. So from what I mean, I've been able to that's my tackle down so far 16 of them that I've been able to, that's how many i found that exist. The Gallardo is not, is not the best car to drive. That thing is like, I, I would, I like the Huracan way better, but the Gallardo, I mean, the Gallardo is not that bad. Like if you got like a hundred thousand and you're thinking about a, a California Ferrari or a Gallardo, I would definitely pick the Gallardo over the uh the ferrari california but the gallardo the interior is trash um the wear and tear on the leather seats like it definitely wears out a lot quicker if you get the manual like the material selection is like low grade uh most of it is audi obviously if you know but the gallardo is like fit and finish interior wise is it's definitely a major downgrade in comparison to the huracan also, driving it is a little difficult, like the turning radius, especially like the older ones, like the 04, 05, they, they were kind of awful. So, but again, I mean, it's, if you're looking for like a nice little $100,000 car, that's a definitely good car to pick. Red, red, and red. I'm sure there's more out there, but so far in the States, uh, the client helped me, we found 16, and three of them. Two were wrecked and one was already one underneath the crusher. Mm. And, and there's, so there's 13 surviving. So but what it is about this is no metallic, but it's not flat. So it's like a real old school Ferrari or Lamborghini red. Right. You know what I mean? Where, where there's a little more... Almost like a nail polish red. You see on the toes yes. and all that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's not like when people have some of the other reds. You know, you know, you know, yeah, it's got like a little... All right, man. I think we're going to wrap up here. I think we're almost like, like at an hour now. So we're going to wrap up here for part one because Organic decided to do a really long vlog, I guess, because he's been gone for like two weeks or whatever. So he decided to drop an hour vlog. I think Stunner Reese probably told him to it because Stunner Reese has been pushing an hour, hour and a half vlog. So like I said, this is going to be part one. We got part two coming out probably a couple days afterwards. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section about Organic's disappearance and about him starting this candy business or whatever this goofy's thinking about now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section.